Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Wali Khan. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the first topic of the subject business statistics, that is introduction to statistics. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about the meaning of statistics, the definition of statistics, the history and development of statistics, functions of statistics, importance of statistics, advantages, limitations and distrust of statistics. In examination, very frequently a theory question will be asked regarding the meaning, definition, functions, importance, limitations, definition, etc. So you must be able to write the theory. So watch this video till the end. You can get the main points of this theory so that you can be able to easily write in examination. Now I'm beginning with the meaning of the term statistics. Statistics may mean different thing to different people. The people will, different, uh, will think differently regarding the term statistics. For example, a cricket enthusiast. He will think that statistics may mean simply to collect the data of a particular batsman. For example, Mr. X is a batsman. He will collect the data regarding how many matches he has played, how many runs he has scored, how many wickets he has taken, how many catches he has taken. He will collect record all the data, that is statistics according to cricket enthusiast. Similarly, an economist will think that statistics means recording the data regarding the production, regarding the circulation of money, regarding the inflation, regarding the import, export. The collection of all these things is called a statistics according to economist. Similarly, a social work worker will record the data regarding number of deaths, number of births and uh, number of students who are going for smoking or uh, number of uh, accidents taking place. So all this data collecting about the society, that, that is statistics according to a social worker. So different people will think of statistics in a different way. The common thread among this meaning is statistics, statistics is concerned with collection of data, recording of data, classifying and analyzing the data. That is called statistics. But the statistics is not as simple as it is simply to collect the data and record it. It is much more than that. It's not simply number crunching is statistics. It has a number of application areas, not only collecting, recording, analyzing, but apart from that, there are many statistical methods which are used for many different purposes. It's a body of knowledge. It's a science. Statistics has become a science. So this is the brief meaning of the term statistics. Simply we can say statistics is concerned with collection of data, classification of data, analyzing the data and interpreting the data in order to take the decisions. This is the normal meaning of the term statistics. Now history and development of statistics. Statistics has been derived from the Latin word status, from the Italian word statistic, from the German, German word statistic or French word statistic, which means political state. Because statistics was developed as a science of statecraft, means this statistics was originally, that means medially it was used for collecting the data regarding the population, regarding the wealth of the population, so that funds can be collected for the purpose of taxes, for the purpose of funding for wars. For that purpose, they will collect the data about the population of their country and wealth of the population, so that taxes can be imposed. The main purpose uh, in olden times was statistics was concerned with uh, science of statecraft or political state collecting the data that was originally but later on during the mid 17th century a number of statistical theories has been made like probability theory Bernoulli theory a number of theory hypothesis testing a number of theories were made during 17th century mid of 17th century and later on a lot of development took place in this field of study of statistics and particularly since last 40 years new methods statistical methods were developed in in order not only <clears throat> not only to collect and analyze the data but also statistical methods and that how to use the technology 
for uh, by using this statistics so importance of statistics has been widened since last 40 years now this is the brief explanation about the history and development of statistics now i'm coming to a definition of statistics see here we can divide the definition of statistics into two because different authors have given statistics definition in different ways the first statistics as numerical data plural sense secondly statistics are statistical methods singular sense so some definitions will give in a plural sense meaning and some definitions are given the meaning in a singular sense so first we'll uh, discuss what is the meaning definition of statistics according to plural sense according to plural sense so what are the characteristics of this definition that statistics as a numerical data it is a science of numerical data that is statistics so what are the features according to this definition first one statistics are aggregate of facts a single figure will not be called as statistics for example in a class a student got 50 marks that is not statistics it's an aggregate of facts that means the marks scored by all the students in a class suppose in a class 50 students are there so we are recording the marks of all the 50 students that can be a statistic a single figure will not be called as statistics it is aggregate of facts similarly statistics are affected by multiplicity of factors example in case of price the price of a commodity does not depend only on the cost of material cost of labor apart from that the prices will depend on the inflation the prices are dependent on the supply and demand so many factors are there which affects the prices so multiplicity of factors are there which affects the numerical data next one statistics are numerically expressed see here when we collect when we are concerned with statistics it is collection of numerical data only numbers are there in statistics if there are no numbers it will not be recorded it is not called statistics for example if quality is there like honesty etc which cannot be measured the honesty beauty efficiency all these things can be felt but it cannot be measured so it will not have numerical data so we it is not called statistics only numerical data will come in statistics now statistics are collected in a systematic manner in haphazard manner if we collect the numerical data that is not called statistics it requires systematic collection presentation recording classification then only it will be called a statistical data statistics are collected for a predetermined purpose see here we don't have a statistics for a general purpose so whenever we apply statistical technique there should be a predetermined purpose in mind that means why we are collecting this data what is the purpose of collection of data so always statistical data should be made with a predetermined objective predetermined purpose next one is these are the characteristic features that statistics is a numerical data statistics is a study of numerical data it's a plural sense now I'm coming to the singular sense where statistics are is a science of statistical methods. Statistics is a science of statistical methods. According to this definition, statistic, the main characteristic is statistic is collected, we are concerned with observation and collection of data. First of all, statistics requires the observation of the facts. After observation, collection of the facts that is the first step required secondly organization of data once the data is observed and collected it has to be organized it has to be classified presented next one presentation once it is collected organized it has to be presented in a specific table tabular form giving the headings giving the uh, i mean columns and rows like the presentation is required next one analysis a number of analyzing techniques are available in statistics like calculation of mean calculation of median calculation of standard deviation calculation of skewness calculation of uh, correlation regression index numbers all these are statistical techniques which are applied right that is called analysis 
last one interpretation why we are collecting the data why we are presenting why we are analyzing in order to give the interpretation interpretation means coming to conclusion so the whole activity of statistics is concerned with a predetermined purpose what is the purpose to take a decision so interpretation is the conclusion to be given so statistics is a science of statistical methods that means we are applying the method statistical method in order to achieve a predictive purpose these two are the different definitions of statistics now third scope of statistics the scope of statistics is very wide because there is no area untouched by statistics nowadays at present every area requires statistics whether it is medicine whether it is government whether it is engineering whether it is accounts whether it is law anywhere everywhere statistics is used collection of data is used so scope of uh, statistics is very very wide so we can divide the scope of statistics into statistical methods and applied statistics statistical methods just now i told you statistical methods require collection presentation classification analysis interpretation this is the scope and applied statistics means applying a specific method in order to find out something example calculating the mean median mode or geometric mean harmonic mean or uh, the standard deviation mean deviation quartile deviation skewness or correlation these are all the applied statistics in order to achieve a particular objective so scope of statistics is very very wide and day by day the importance the scope is increasing next comes nature of statistics now a question will arise is statistics a science or an art so in real terms statistics is both it is a science and also statistics is an art it is a science because statistics is a body of knowledge which has which has its own principles rules how to classify how to analyze how to interpret all these rules principles are given but the thing is it is called a social science because we have to apply our own techniques it's not a pure science just like uh, physics or chemistry it is not a pure science it is a diluted science but it is called a science because it is based on some principles rules methods now it is an art art requires a particular skill creative creativity by continuously i mean doing the same activity a person will become perfect he will become an expert in his activity example music is there or uh, story writing is there painting is there all these are art because a person who is doing that activity will become perfect similarly this statistics is also called an art because a person who is always engaged in collecting the data analyzing the data interpreting the data he will become perfect expert in his field so this statistics can be said as it is a science as well as an art now functions of statistics the functions of statistics first function systematic collection and presentation of fact first of all this statistics is concerned with collection and recording of data of facts that is the first function second one simplification of mass figures we have huge data available for our purpose we have to select the data from the mass data and present it in our in a suitable form that means we have to take out a small portion of the mass of data then facilitate comparison the statistics will help in making the comparison because only by comparison we can be able to know what is good what is bad without comparison we cannot be able to know example a company wants to compare his performance with other companies by using the statistical data one company can compare its performance with the other companies helps in formulation of and testing of hypothesis nowadays hypothesis testing is widely used in companies hypothesis means tentative conclusion before making any testing so this hypothesis testing uh, statistics will be very much helpful in hypothesis testing helps in prediction a number of cases the management the government wants to make prediction about the future future is uncertain 
but we can calculate we can predict to the future by applying statistical technique like probability next helps in policy formulation decision making normally government or business organization they have to make the policy formulation decision making for this purpose they need forecasting estimating in advance so statistical will become a handy tool in those cases next one is measures uncertainty future is completely uncertain but we can be able to measure it so statistics we have a different a number of techniques through it which are we can measure the uncertainty best example probability is a measure of uncertainty now importance of statistics very very important statistics now has become a very important topic for any field of study for every field of study statistics are important example importance of statistics to common man a common man will use the statistic knowingly or unknowingly for example a housewife going to purchase the grocery his she is using the statistics in order to purchase the groceries without knowing even un, uh, unknown also we are using the statistics so in our day to day decisions so many decisions we take from morning till evening so many decisions we take we st we use the statistics but we don't know similarly importance of statistics to state the biggest user of statistic is government the state in order to make the plans in order to analyze the policies the government uses the st statistics importance of statistics to business and management we we cannot ignore that statistics is completely used by business organizations management in order to take the decision regarding production regarding sales regarding marketing research regarding strategies all these things they need the data collection of data analysis of data next one importance of statistics to other sciences the other sciences like economics psychology physiology mathematics all these are dependent on statistics so statistics is a common thread which is used by other areas now limitations of statistics we should not think that statistics have only advantages it has its own limitations the limitations are statistics does not study qualitative phenomena the statistics require takes into account only numerical data quantitative data the qualitative data is not recorded because we cannot measure the qualitative data i called example the beauty the honesty this efficiency this cannot be measured so statistical application is only for numerical data secondly statistical does not study individual measurements statistical is concerned with collective collective data it is not concerned with individual data statistics is applied only when there is a huge mass figures collection of data secondly statistical laws are true only on an average it is not perfect remember statistics will not give 100% per correct answer perfect answer accurate answer it will give only an, on an average so we cannot 100% rely on statistics next one statistics can be misused there is lot of chance that this statistics can be misused by the people by using wrong figures wrong data statistics does not reveal the entire story the complete picture cannot be revealed by statistics only a particular aspect will be shown lastly no cause and effect some cases we cannot be able to come to the i mean conclusion of cause and effect relationship by applying statistics these are the limitations last one is distrust of statistics distrust means lack of confidence lack of trust that is called distrust we cannot trust the statistics because the statistics is exposed to some vulnerabilities what are the vulnerabilities quality of data statistics depends on the quality of data if the quality of data given is right then statistics will give will give you right conclusions if you give wrong data definitely you will get wrong result that's why a proverb is there garbage in garbage out whatever you give you will get that only so statistics also depends on the correct data incomplete data statistics to be perfect to be good requires complete data if we give incomplete data definitely will get incomplete result like next one manipulated data some people in or in order to achieve their mischievous or uh, selfish motives they may manipulate the data 
So if manipulated data is used in statistics, then definitely the result will not be true. Last one, statistics is only a tool. Remember, it's not a magic. Statistic is only a tool which can be used for a particular purpose. It is not the end. It's a means to an end. So in this video, I have explained you regarding the meaning, definition, history and development, importance and uh, advantages, limitations and distrust of statistics. In the next video, I'll continue the theory on this introduction.